Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, August 13th to the 14th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right there down below, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. And for, for the information is down in the description box below. All right, Cappies. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. But first, let me get some cards here. All right. We have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Emperor. And we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's get this message from Spirit Cappies and see what they have for you today. Calm your nerves, they're saying. Breathing, breathing, I'm hearing. So, anxiousness. They're saying some of you are anxious right now, very anxious, and they're wanting you to breathe. Oh, somebody... Um, be careful because this anxiousness can lead to like mishaps, like accidents. I get this for another sign. Similar. Different, but. So just pay attention to your state of being. That's important. Pay attention to your state of being. And if you find yourself getting anxious, breathe. And it does help. I have anxiety. I know. It does help. Breathing. It's like the cure for many things. Just, it's conscious breathing. It's not even just breathing. It's conscious breathing. <sighs> let yourself go. That's why you're anxious. They're saying you need to let yourself go. You need to loosen up maybe. Um... Mm, I'm feeling it's like you're very constricted. And you need to relax. It's this relaxing of, and I'm feeling this rigidness in your body. So there's a relaxing of the body that needs to take place. So like a hot bath, a warm hot bath, whatever relaxes you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm, so there could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your life. I don't feel like that's you. I feel like that's somebody else. You have the Emperor here in the Six of Swords. I feel like this Emperor is you. Some of you could be moving, or if you're not moving, like physically moving, then you're sort of emotionally moving on or a t trying to move on to this more peaceful place, right? Which is good because this anxiety that's, that's within some of you. So you're working hard at something that you're passionate about, which is good with the Eight of Pentacles here. something you want to communicate this could have to do with the with your passion here with the eight of pentacles hmm. oh okay they just said let go of control all right that's why you're showing up as the emperor so 
this rigidness, this, this built up rigidness within you. I feel like there is a letting go. There is a letting go of c things you cannot control. And this is going to do you, this is going to do you good. I think that's right now. This is going to do well for you. Sorry, it's three in the morning. The Empress. Okay. You could be seeing the Empress. This is, um, could be the mother of your child. Could be Taurus. Could be Libra. Um, doesn't even have to be all of the above. Could be somebody who just embodies all of the queens, right? Is well balanced, is intuitive, in touch with nature. There's an, I, I like the feel of the Six of Swords. There's a very, there's an ease with this feeling. I like it. There is a peaceful, calming um, feeling. I really, really hope you get there. I think you will. The chariot. You're certainly going somewhere. You're certainly going somewhere. And you need to remember to connect with the divine though, okay? And this is channeling your passion as well, they're saying. Okay? With the chariot here. So once you become balanced, and I feel you will, you're going to get to this peaceful place. You need to channel that divine into your work. Tell me about tell me about the Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Okay. See, now the Five of Pentacles. I'm feeling there could be a fear of like poverty here. And this is why you're working so hard. Clarify this five of pentacles. Yeah. Yep. I feel like you fear that there's not going to be, you're not going to have enough money. Something about money here. So there's an opportunity that you have right now that you're working on that you're taking, which is good, which is good. But try not to have this poverty consciousness on your mind, okay? That needs to be let go. Because it's only going to, you're going to manifest more of what you feel inside, right? Yeah. Okay. Let that go. And this is going to bring you happiness. Whatever you're doing now, okay, working on, this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. This is also going to lead to an expression of emotion, like this vulnerability, it can't, whatever you're doing could make you feel like a kid again as well. Okay. You could have feelings for this empress with the king of cups here. Interesting because you have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You could have a family with this person. With the ten of pentacles. Or this could be something that you're wishing for. Because this is marriage, happiness, loyalty. What role is this empress? Okay. Oh, this could be somebody that you had a falling out with. Ten of swords, an ending with. Because my question was, and the card came out before I ended my question, what role is this empress playing in your life right now? And she's not because there was an ending. So what do you... Oh, jeez. What do you want? <laughs> that was my question. Uh, a reunion, possibly. But this is being taken very slow. Tell me about, yeah, Two of Cups. Definitely wanting to come together because there was an ending of this relationship. So what is your advice? What is your advice? You got to listen to your intuition. This two of swords has come out, I, I swear, it was like for 10 of, out of the 12 signs. You're the last sign I'm doing. And come on, people. We need to listen to our intuition. We need to trust it. It's not even just listening to it. Okay, there could have been a... There could be a third party involved here, and it could be that Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
okay? Justice at the bottom of the deck here. Libra energy again. Ah, this could be a twin. You had Justice, the Four of Wands, Two of Cups. So, why aren't you listening to your intuition? Why? I, I just heard, you don't feel it's the right time? Odd message to get from the Page of Pentacles, but that's what they said. Clarify this. Why don't you feel it's the right time? Ah, there's some shit you need to work through. There's some defensiveness, either on your end or their end. Remember, energy goes both ways. So you could reverse this if you're not resonating with this um, side of it, right? Ah, okay. Now I get it, Cappy. Capricorn wants to play. This is player energy. So it's like you're protecting your freedom right now. This is freedom. This is playing. This is dating, right? So is the Three of Cups here, right? That's why this third party is coming up. Okay. So advice. Advice. Okay, we have the Six of Wands for advice, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So Taurus Energy, Virgo Capricorn. Um, so Spirit saying, figure out where you want to invest your time and energy. Be careful of your ego. Okay? And build that foundation that you're beginning to over here. Okay, because your ships will come in, but you just got to you, you can't I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, you could be letting your ego get in the way. Not all of the time, because I do feel a peacefulness here. So I don't I don't feel like that's 100 percent of the time, but this has to do with letting go. Right. And that's that's part of letting some of that ego go. Right. All right, Capricorn, I hope that helped. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Did I just repeat myself? I don't know. It's three of the boarding. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay, as well. I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.